This programme contains strong language and sexual references from the outset and throughout. Two years ago, I was partying, living it up in Geordie Shore with all the Geordie Shore gang. And now, I could literally go into labour right now, any second, it could just happen. So me and Casey have hit our due date. Four weeks. weeks, come on. 40 weeks is officially two day. But he's got no sign of him. But no sign of him. And I feel like this belly is just getting so big, he's going to have to come soon, cos I can't take no more. Come on, hurry up. Get out. I'm so glad I'm having a boy, and it's going to be so cute having a little mini Casey running around. But my feet are swollen. I'm just so tired and sluggish. I'm just so ready to not be pregnant anymore. Do you know how you, you, you're waiting and waiting? Have you ever have you tried anything? Well, the midwife did tell us a few things that I thought were myths. She told us to get on the pregnancy ball. Right. Which is, like, does really help. It helps the grab. I think walking helps. Walking. Especially uphill. Nipple stimulation and massage. So I've got to go down on her tonight. And, and like, no, say, he, he say if that's, like, her, go massage. like that, I've got to do this to her. So say if that's Marnie. The midwife showed about I've got to go it. like that and, like, Go like that in the inside and... Really? Yeah. Take this. Oh, she also said curry. Hot spicy curry, yeah. food. Yeah, yeah. Yes. she did. I had a madras, which I don't eat, right? And I was sweating my tits off and it did nothing. Then Casey sucked me nipples for about two hours. That didn't work. <laughs> then I had sex and that didn't work, which was just a total waste of time. <laughs> <sighs> so I feel like my worst fears have actually happened. I'm two weeks overdue and they don't want us to wait any longer and I've got to go into labour and have this baby today, whether I like it or not. This is not what I planned at all. I planned on having a nice, relaxed water birth and now I'm being induced. This is like my worst nightmare. I have been induced and have been in labour. Well, I've been having contractions for the past two hours. When you're on a ward, there's like loads of fears and you've got the curtains all pulled around and like everyone's really quiet even though we're all like in so much pain. And I was like trying to like keep the pain in because I was embarrassed to scream. Then it just got so bad that I thought my head was going to explode so I just screamed. And I don't know what all the other women would do and I was probably worrying them like painfulest thing I've ever had to go through in my life. When's he gonna come out? I'm very, very nervous. Don't be nervous. It's gonna be fine. Marnie is nine centimetres dilated and she is doing gas and air. We're almost there. When my cervix gets to 10 centimetres, it's big enough to get the baby's head out so then I can start pushing. I just hope I've got enough energy left after all of this. Marnie's mum and my mum, they actually couldn't watch because Marnie got taken into theatre. I was like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? Like, you're just, you're facing the unknown. It's scary. We had a bad labour, like Marnie lost two pints of blood. And Brox had to come out with, you know, the, the cup. They had to use the cup to get him out and it was just traumatic. It was just so hard so hard and so painful and so long. I'm going to cut baby Rox's um, umbilical cord. I feel like, oh, that's weird. Can you, vi oh, I don't want to cut his hand. You got me, yeah? Cut his cord, look. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I cut your cord. So, me and Marnie have just had our little baby. You look good, it. Marnie. She still looks good, doesn't it, everyone? I actually did it. Him. I can't believe we did it. Look at you, you little cutie. <laughs> Seeing rocks for the first time was such an overwhelming feeling of love. It is true what people say, like, there is no feeling like it, and it is a love like no other. It's just like, you're like, look at him, you can't believe he's yours. It's crazy.
Hey guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Geordie OG videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?